welcome to Paddle and Place in Florida. Hey, I'm your host, Mr. D. Let's get this thing in the water. Now a word from our fantastic sponsor. Advanced Elements is the leader in design and manufacturing of inflatable kayaks with cutting-edge technology and providing excellent customer service. All of their products are designed to give paddlers the tools they need at a value they deserve. Check them out at advancedelements.com or call toll-free at 866-262-9076. Hello and welcome to Paddling Places, Florida. I'm your host, Mr. D. Hey, today we are out at Jonathan Dixon State Park paddling the Loxahatchee River. Uh, this is a camp and paddle episode, so we're going to be going all over the place today and uh, looking at different things. We're going to go up as far as uh, the trapper area. My intro wasn't done on the dock uh, because they are doing some construction in there and it should be done by the end of the month, so it won't it won't hinder your launching anyway right now, so it's no big deal. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to paddle up the uh, Loxahatchee uh, river uh, this morning and then this afternoon we're going to go around and visit all the facilities within the Jonathan Dixon State Park. So hey, stay tuned. We'll be back in a bit. Well, hey guys, we are coming up on the uh, boat tour area, and they've got a, a three very, very large pontoon craft here, and they have some, looks like some small whalers. I don't know if those are rentals or not. I would assume they are. There's one, two, three, four, looks like five of those. Uh, they have a lot of... Um, canoes and kayak rentals so this would be the area and I'm gonna check by with it after I finish my paddle today I'm gonna come back up here with the truck and uh, and walk this area and get some good footage of it but I mean this is really top shelf they uh, they have really done a great job here I'm seeing canoes a lot of canoes and kayaks so their rental area is is really fully stocked and looking at the conditions of the boats, they're all in great condition, so you shouldn't have any problem at all out here. Let me give you a, a look-see. As you can see, they have a fairly large inventory of kayaks and canoes and stuff like that. And then their pontoon boats right here. And that's for rentals for their tours up the river. So. I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. So anyway, hey, uh, we're going to be going through an island here in just a second. But you can see it's a pretty wide river. And I've only seen uh, one boat launch while I was at the boat launch this morning. Uh, the dredge, I talked to the guys that are working on the dredge and reworking uh, up the river a little bit. They had to... They're taking it back to its natural flow. Somehow it got uh, a, another flow in it. They wanted to take it back to its original flow, so they've been dredging that area. And uh, like he said today, they're going to be um, adding the rock down at the bottom to maintain it. But they're widening that back out. Uh, that's where I'm going up to today. I want to take a look at that. 
and then I'll be coming back down so we're coming up on this really cool small island here and it's not really an island it's just a whole bunch of trees growing out because that's all water down on the bottom so there ain't no place to walk out on that that's just a bunch of roots and trees but it's cool so anyway hey guys we'll be back in a little bit Well, hey guys, we've been up here on the uh, Loxahatchee Locks River, and we have made it up to the furthest boundary upstream uh, with the Loxahatchee River and Jonathan Dixon Park. We are at their boundaries right now, and uh, it's been really enjoyable. It's it's a unique place. Uh, the current is uh, not crazy strong, but it is kind of strong. I'll be going downstream here in just a little bit. I was told that there is a plethora of alligators up here. And there's alligators in every body of water in Florida. Uh, you've heard me say that in multiple occasions. Uh, I mean, you can find them in your swimming pool. If you have an outdoor open pool, they will swim into that. And you'll have to call the, the uh, gator taker outer guy, and then they'll take it out. Uh, but I haven't seen any today, which really surprised me. I was kind of not looking forward to it. I never look forward to it. But uh, what I was told that there was just a plethora of these, I haven't seen any. And like I said, I've already paddled three miles um, all the way up to the upper boundaries of the uh, Jonathan Dixon State Park. And I'm real impressed with this state park. Oh, this is real shallow in here. Wow. I didn't even see that this was uh, that shallow. It is really shallow here. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to continue our paddle. And I thought that was a ranger, but it's not. Just somebody out taking his daughter on a boat run, which is kind of cool. But anyway, we're going to continue our paddle down. And uh, once we're done with that, then we're going to go out and do some footage on all the facilities that Jonathan Dixon State Park provides. So, hey, we'll be back in a bit. Well, hey, guys, uh, we are out here now at the Kimball Welcoming Center, and the staff in here is absolutely fantastic. They really helped me out yesterday when I was uh, trying to figure out what I was doing, trying to figure out where I got to go and all that kind of stuff. And then they also helped me on the paddle and which way to go and and uh, what to see and all that kind of stuff really really great people here uh, we're going to go to a couple more of the pavilions so hey we'll be back in a bit this pavilion here caught my eye when i was out paddling today and it is called the mcneil pavilion it's so cool this thing is all grass grass thatched roof uh, all natural materials. This thing is absolutely fabulous. I mean, look at this thing. What a great pavilion. I'm going to go underneath here and let's see what we got. They have light, they have power in here. This would probably be one of their rentals, I would assume. But this is beautiful. Has a good view of the uh, Loxahatchee. 
can see here. I saw this when I was on the uh, paddle. I was coming up from the direction I'm pointing in now and then paddling past it this way in past the swimming area over to the uh, boat rental and concession area. And then I continued up the uh, Loxahatchee. But it was a fabulous paddle, outstanding. But I love this pavilion. I wanted to stop by and check this one out. And it was definitely worth the walk. Now we're coming down into the rental area. I boat tour, store, pavilions, bicycle rentals, playground, all kinds of neat stuff in here, guys. Uh, you can see this is very nicely done, very well laid out. What we're going to do is go into the store because I need to get something cold. Oh, there goes the barge finally. You got out late. The barge is working at uh, Trapper's area beyond Kitchen Tree, so it's kind of cool. All right, I'm currently at the concession area for the rentals and boat tours you saw earlier in the video today. Uh, sorry I'm into the sun, but there is a very, very large group of kids that just came in to, and checked out uh, several of their canoes. And I was watching to see how this would be handled by the concession people, and it really went well. I mean, we're talking like 30 kids at least, and it really, really went well. So we're going to do that, and uh, we're going to continue checking this thing out so hey we'll see you in a little bit well hey guys i have had a absolute blast out here at jonathan dickinson uh, state park i tell you they really got their stuff together they've got pavilions they've got tour groups they got uh, the tour boats they got ca canoe and kayak for renting two different campgrounds in here uh, and then they have the loxahatchee uh, river which is just phenomenal uh, we paddled that today we had a great time doing that and then we're out here looking at all the different pavilions and playgrounds and and all the uh, facilities that they offer for their visitors is probably one of the best state parks I have seen in the four years I've been doing this. This one I think rates number one so far. Uh, they have everything right here. I mean, even bicycle rentals. They, they I mean, there's there's nothing they don't have. This thing is really awesome. The food truck right over there, they have a, a little food store in here. Uh, their restroom facilities are, are all top notch. Plenty of parking. Uh, tour groups come in here by the bus load and they rent the, uh, their kayaks and, and uh, canoes and take the tour boats out. I saw three, I think it's three or four big pontoon boats out here to take tour groups out. Uh, but this is a very, very large state park and they take care of you. Their staff is friendly. They're very knowledgeable. Uh, I talked with one staff member today and it must have been 30, 40 minutes. We were just chatting about just the waterways in this particular area that you could go and kayak or a boat or do whatever, whatever. Uh, I am totally blown away with this state park. They did a great job and the uh, Loxahatchee River is really fun to paddle. It's a good one, got to watch for winds because it will get a little whippy out there. And, uh, but other than that, it's awesome. So, hey, see you on the next one.